to learn it. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Mass Brothers Podcast. I am M, and that is J, uh, and we're going to talk. I um, hope everyone enjoyed their Memorial Day yesterday. Um, John was uh, washing dishes all day, so we couldn't we couldn't do a podcast yesterday. So go check out. The, I think he posted a little video of him. That was a brief intermission from his sixteen hours. It's what we call. Washing. It's what we call in the business a YouTube short. A YouTube short. Did you just make that up on the spot? No, it was a short. That's what they're called. Short. Okay. Okay. I'm a little skeptical about YouTube in general. I don't. I don't really know how it works. Um, does this go on YouTube? Yeah. Why? Because we're too lazy to set up like a another thing. Oh, okay. All right, that makes sense. So uh, I was um, John. I think was trapped in uh, a circus for a while. He was trapped in an elaborate trapeze act that he could not get out of. But he's back, and he had a lot of dishes to catch up on, so he used his holiday to do that. Now we're back as a result of that. And a lot has happened since we've been, we've been talking about things. There's been so much crazy shit going on in the world. Um, number one, I, don't, I think we're going to talk about it for a while. But support the assault weapons ban, please. It's fucking crazy. People shouldn't just be able to go out and buy fucking machine guns whenever they want. Wait That's a minute. Hold on. Hold on. What if I got a kid? What if, what if, what if the government's trying to come for me? That's actually a good point. As a matter of fact, I think there's agents at my door uh, right now that are with, with uh, shotguns and pistols and so I think my <laughs> AR-15 is going to actually save me. Yeah, like they wouldn't just uh, fucking, you know, a satellite wouldn't just You know what this means? You. This means there's millions of people walking around in the country with the mentality. They're like, they actually think they're cowboys. They actually think they're gunslingers. Yeah. Like they need these fucking crazy weapons. Like what the fuck do you need an AR-15 for? Well, I will say, what if I'm being attacked that by like a stuff, wild boar? And, and you want to pay us money, that's great. But if you're not going to pay us any money, then just don't. This is probably not the right thing for you to listen to, because we don't want people to I have machine guns still, at will. I think I would still tell you to fuck off if you gave us some money. Depends on how much money it is. I would tell. I would still tell you on Twitter, but maybe I would be nicer in, in your face. I don't know. But if you're not going to give us money, I'm going to tell you to fuck off in your face. You know, George Carlin has a great line about uh, the distance between you and a person is how much of an asshole they are. You know, if someone's if somebody fucking blows you off, cuts you off in traffic, they'll beep and you go, you fucking piece of shit, you asshole. But if, you know, you're right next, if they're in front of you in line and they do something stupid, you're not really, usually you're not going to say anything. Unless you're John. John's pretty hardcore. John, John actually brings his AR-15 with him in the, in the stores and shit. Well, I let them know He's that a I'm, real I cowboy. Only, I only go to the South Philly Acme, so they, they, they know I'm protecting them. I was part it's of the, actually, uh, the Gravy it's Seals. The, it's actually the Gravy Seals. <laughs> it's actually the Acme. You never heard it? Remember during? Yeah, no, I did. I did. They Remember they defended the target during the riots, too? And they defended the Columbus statue and lost. <laughs> Dude, there's so many, there's so I'm many, learning. there's so many South Philly guys that are just sitting in their house angry all the time about something. Yeah. Because they woke up, they have a bad hip. Uh, I got this thing with my fucking hip. My fucking hip. They I think I've been, I think I've been sleeping wrong pop. for 20 years. I think I've been sleeping wrong. It's my hip. It's something wrong. Something's wrong with my hip. I haven't slept good since since '79. And you know, I got the back the back problem. I go to this massage therapist for big tits. There's so <laughs> many of these guys. 
so many of these old crotchety South Philly guys. Yeah. They walk and they click when they walk. I click when I walk too, but it, at least I, uh, you know, at least, at least I you're not an old South, at least you're a young South Philly guy. Did you freeze, Matthew? I'm here. I'm alive. Did you freeze? Hello, no. can you hear me? I mean, it, did I? John froze. Yeah, get that shit together. Hello, we're back. Sorry Get that for ship the delay. together. Sorry for the delay, everyone. Um, uh, uh, gravy Take care of your shit. Listen, so I was driving. I was driving home today, and um, Wonderwall came on on Spotify, and I thought to, and I actually I listened to the whole song. I usually don't really listen to that song. It's not. It's not my favorite Oasis song. It's probably not even in the top twenty, but. I was thinking this song's really overplayed and it's so popular that it's unpopular to a degree. So yeah. I thought let's name some songs that are really popular hit songs that were overplayed that people get annoyed. Oh, they go, Oh, this fucking song again, but they're actually still great songs. I thought Wonderwall was a great example of that. That's a great like, one. It's overplayed. You're going to skip it, but it's actually a great, it's a phenomenal fucking song. Don't stop believing comes to mind. I got another one. I got another one. When it was when it first came out, you could use style, or you could use um, that other Taylor Blank Space by Taylor Swift. Um, they're overplayed, but they're actually great songs. Uptown Funk. Don't stop now by Dua Lipa. Is that the moon? That's another one that's overplayed, though. That one, yeah, that is overplayed, and it's and it's, the song was obviously stolen. But I love a lot of great stolen music. I don't, I don't think that should be a big deal, you know, to a certain degree. Well, I think, I think you should give credit. Oh yeah, I definitely think you should give. If you still blatantly steal something, you should list the writers of the original song as writers. I think you should be able to do whatever you want as long as you're. As long as you're not a dick about it. I feel like if you don't give credit, you're a dick. Yeah. Um, Enter Sandman uh, is a great fucking song, but it's overplayed. So you don't want to, you know, you, you don't listen to it that much. But know, it's a great song. Metallica has a great uh, Master of Puppets. Great song. Master! Master! Fun song. Uh, not only is it overplayed, but it's way too long. Dude, there's a criminal epidemic of songs that are way too like "Stairway to Heaven's way too fucking long. Like I don't, I don't have time to listen to that whole fucking song. Okay, I, I skipped it earlier today in the car because I'm like I don't have eight. I, I mean, I did have eight minutes listening to the song, but what am I gonna be bored because I'm in traffic and then be bored again because I got to hear him fucking moan about nothing for fucking five minutes? Yeah, that's that's on our overrated list. As that's well. a, that's definitely that's definitely an overrated song. Uh, even flow. I don't feel like that song's overplayed enough to be in this category. I change it every time it comes on. What like songs that are overplayed but are still absolutely great songs? I think I think even flow's overplayed. I never hear that song. I mean, I don't listen to like MMR or whatever. 93.3 WMMR. Like, I don't listen to it too much, but... I feel like I hear it every single time I have a ra the radio on. Really? I feel like that other... I feel like... like uh, I think it's Black. Yeah, I, th I feel like that's more overplayed than even Flow. Really? I think it's the opposite. Yeah. Every time I hear that song, I skipped it. I, I, I actually think that's an overrated song. Black? Yeah, that's that's oh what was everything. Yeah, right. yeah, you know, I think that's overrated. I think it's I think overrated the, and a little too dramatic. I think the the lyrics are weird enough to keep me thinking that it's rightfully rated. 
you know there's like a certain sect of, of rock fans that are really fucking annoying and i feel like a lot i'm not saying all pearl jam fans but i feel like some pearl jam fans fall in that category pearl, pearl jam fans drink like fucking crazy Real. I remember when they, they closed out the spectrum, they did like six hours. So those those people must have been fucking smashed that night. They might be the drunkest. They might have some of the drunkest non-country fans. I feel like country fans are probably the most drunk. They're really bad, yeah. And you know, this isn't like you're generalizing or stereotyping. You've worked these events. You know, you know what these fan bases are actually like. Yes, I, I've worked every level of security. Uh, for in the uh, country, yeah. Oh, pretty much actually. And like it's right, right before you get to like a secret clearance, I've pretty much done it. And uh, that's where I come in. Yeah, that's where I. All, all, Matthew tells me all the secrets. Like, like we're we're in the Illuminati. We actually got an award from the Illuminati for best uh, secret keepers. We're actually in the Illuminati, by the way. It's not the Illuminati. No one tells us no, and it's not the word "not" would never be in the actual real name. <laughs> I love I I I want to go to a, a like a, a one of those conventions or whatever for like conspiracy theorists and just have a great time and just enjoy the comedy. I think it would be so much fun. Or like go to a house party with a bunch of people who think the Illuminati's real, and like like a Kanye song will come on and they'll be like. Do you hear that lyric? That's he's actually talking about him and Drake yeah. being in the Illuminati together and drinking like pig blood. Like I want to be, I want to spend the night with those people. But have, not the um, not the violent kind, obviously. I don't want to get fucking murdered. But have, I think that would be so much fun. They'll be like, these. Did you see the picture of Lady Gaga where she's covering her eye? It's it's to symbolize that the all seeing eye. I like the people that aren't full blown crazy, but they're a little crazy. They'll be like. I'm not saying that that's the Illuminati's real, but there are some weird coincidences. Yeah. Like the answer's, I mean, the answer's in front of everyone's face. It's just, if you have a lot of money, you're in the rich people club. That's what it is. It's not that yeah. it's like we have a lot of money and we want to keep having a lot of money and we want to have more money than you. This is the problem with, 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 with people that are in the conspiracy theories is that they have all this energy and they want to make a change and they're directing it in the completely wrong direction. It's really so simple that the, the, the government and all the uh, big money uh, companies are ruining poor people's lives. And um, it, they're doing it out in the open. It's not new either. It's not like this is the first time everyone acts like this is the first, this is the first time this happened from the dawn yeah. of like since farming existed, probably yeah. before that. But you could definitely say since farming, since the idea of land ownership exist, existed, this has been a thing. Because I own the land. I have more power because I have this, the, the space. I will give you, you want to grow food, your only option is to grow it on the space I own. So I'm going to charge you for that. I have power and money over you, and I want to keep yeah. that. It's the same idea has been going on since the beginning of time. It's not the fucking Illuminati. It's no. It's not the some Illuminati. secret society. Well, it's the real yeah, the Illuminati is this real secret society. By by the way, John, we well, got an award you know, that I'm not supposed to talk about. Real, but quick. I'm going to talk about it. Real okay, quick. go ahead. Then I got to tell you about the award we got. There's secret. There are secret societies that exist but they just like shove carrots up each other's asses and they blackmail each other that's Do you all ever it think is. about that if there was a real secret society that was pulling any kind of strings you wouldn't fucking know about it well no you no one could keep a secret that's why they don't exist you can't get a thousand people in a room and like the people that think that the the government did 9-11 that shit would have came out already what what the real thing is is that Bush and his family are fr were friends with and did deals with fucking what's his names? What the Saudis? With the with um, Bin Laden and his people. Oh yeah, but I, I they I don't sold know if it was them weapons. Reagan or Bush's father, but they did sell them weapons. Yeah, 
But also, also the Saudi government actually has more responsibility for 9-11 than anyone. And we still fucking trade with them because it's money is more important than what's right. Yeah. I would like, what are you, what are these people crazy? They think that the government wants to do what's right. That's never, no government does what's right. I mean, I do believe in lizard people. You know how many bugs get killed every year from people that eat organic lettuce? Billions, billions of, of creatures, of life forms every year get killed because we take food out the ground that they could eat. And it happens everywhere. It's the same concept with people, you know? That's my holistic thought process. Yeah, rich that. people are eating the poor people. Ba- basically, yeah. And by the way, just a, one more little detour about the Bush family and the Kennedy family. All of them had ties to Nazi money back in World War II. Just look it up. Just do a little bit of research and you'll, you'll find out that uh, uh, when it comes to having a lot of money, there's no borders to that. It doesn't follow an ideology. It doesn't follow anything. It's just money. That's all it is. Yeah. A lot of the other shit's just a show, just a distraction. Um, uh, we got an award. Um, it was the most, uh, we got an award. I can't tell us who gave us, who gave us this award, but it was, we won a duo, most secreted society duo in the country. From an unknown source. From an unknown source. So and we got that award. Station. They presented us. They presented me with that award today in person while I was walking. They just stopped me on the street while I was at work. They did and the they secret said, handshake. here's your award. Here's your award. Because you and your brother are in the secret society and you're really good at it. Here's your award for it. And it's totally legit. All these awards we get are totally legit. They're totally real. Yeah. You know, we uh, we actually won another award today, Matthew. The, we did the quickest uh, the the band that said the hail marys through a full rosary the quickest award. Oh, we won that award. Yeah, we, we were, did it. We were practicing for a while, so I think we two and a that. half minutes. We did a hail mary for each bead in the rosary. Yeah, actually, what is I was that? thinking of five. How many I is would, that? I don't. I don't. I, I lost count. We did it so fast I couldn't even keep track. I um, I uh, I, I'm getting into Jesse McCartney McCartney late, lately, and I'm not. I was gonna say something and I totally forgot. I think the beats. I, I think Aaron Carter's losing his mind. Wait, really? Yeah, I don't. I know so little about it. Yeah, well, I, Britney Spears is losing her mind too. She's posting like nudes every week on Instagram. Well, you know what though? She she a court just ruled that she like has her mind about her. So I think she's just kind of being like loose, like and free and all. Maybe, yeah, maybe she's viewing nudity as an extension of her freedom, but usually that's not what crazy celebrities even do. Yeah, well, the Kardashian, like, you know, nowadays that's how people make some money. You know? Could you, yeah, people, I mean if people but usually, like Mike, usually it's like they go get hired by a big magazine. They give them a bunch of money and they do a spread. Yeah, but anything that'll drive uh, view to, views to your content, dude. What the fuck's Tristan Thompson doing on the Kardashians? Why is he? He he dates one of them, right? I, I think he know, has like, a baby. I think he has a baby with Chloe. But but my thing is, if you're a professional NBA player, right? Are you just with them because they have big asses? Like, or does like in private, do they actually have good personalities that can win someone over? Or maybe they're just all dumb and they just get along together because they're stupid. But they have so much money. There's, I, I just feel like maybe I'm being a bit of a conspiracy theorist. They can't be that dumb. That has to be a public persona. They have to be, that has to be a work. You know, they got to be yeah. tricking us. Maybe. There's no way they're that stupid and superficial, really. Well, I think there, there's a there's a genius to it, but it then, but really, it's just they're just taking advantage of fucking people's addiction to social media. 
I mean, I guess they, they have to be, they're like the super influencers of the world. I guess that has to be a role that would be filled. But are they, though? Yeah, they definitely are. Who influ- but no, they don't influence us. No, I don't know who they influence, but they make a fuck ton of money from it. Yeah, they're the, they're, I think it's because they're the top at it at that at being influencers and public figures for no reason. They're the top. They're the the cream of the crop. Yeah, everyone else is just a pretender right now. Like Paris Hilton was before them, and then it's them. And then it'll be us. We're, I mean, who took the throne after them? Big Ed from Ninety Day Fiance. What a great uh, character! I know. I would not be surprised if sometime in the future, if a season rolls around that good, if we do 90 Day Fiance show reviews, would not be surprised. Oh, yeah. Because that was a great show. Remember the guy, the old middle age, or like the, the old guy that was spent, that spent like 20, like a quarter million dollars on, on Russian chat sites. And we all, yeah. everyone thought he was being catfished. And it was the biggest reveal of the century. She was fucking real. Mm-hmm. She was just scamming the dude. No, I think they didn't they get married. They got married. I, I I don't remember. I don't think they did actually. Dude, I what think was I just ex- popped you. The, the the two sisters with the, the fake lips and shit. They got their own show, Darcy, right? Yeah. And she was dating Tom, and he was the greatest villain of all time on television and in the history of reality TV. When Tom came back, he shut his camera off, and he came back, and he had a cigarette lit. He had. I thought it was a cigar. It, it, it was, was a, probably so cool. It was probably it was a cigarette. He yeah. was probably smoking a black and mild. He was, he was, I mean, it was so fucking funny. Yeah, the fuck, I swear he had a Newport in his ear. It was so good. I, I it, it was a moment I'll never forget. I, yeah, I was, was like, cool. I couldn't believe it. It was so good. And then, uh, uh, Uz, was it Usman? Was that his name? Ah, oh, Usman. Lisa. Baby girl Lisa. Baby girl Lisa. Oh, he was fucking great. I like that guy. She was and then nuts. I love how I love the way that the way that they strategically release information in that show was great. Because you go through like this whole season and then you get to the end and it's like uh Lisa's finally gripping with the fact that Usman wants to have like seven wives, and you're like, When did mm-hmm. when was that a thing? Yeah, it's he knew so it great. the whole time. Yeah, he knew. He just didn't. Excellent. He just didn't say anything because he, in in his mind, of course, I'm going to have seven wives. Was, John, what's your take? What's your take on polyamory, Doctor John? That? What's your take on? Give me, give me thirty seconds of polyamory. So it it all started back in the day when guys wanted more than one wife, and women didn't have any rights. And they were tricked into believing that it was something that God wanted, uh, I think. So now you're talking about the Mormons. Yeah. Now, I mean, there's some people that that are that uh, that'll have, a you know, uh, an open relationship and you know, maybe a couple can have a girlfriend or a boyfriend or, or, or whatever, which is fine. But if, if you're doing it. Like I feel like there's there's a certain sect of women. That was that twenty are, second. That was thirty seconds with Doctor John. That was really good. That was a really good take on polyamory. <laughs> I don't you think. Know, I don't when, think. You know, there's a bunch of amory. Speaking for my my uh, four years ago, my single self, I don't think I would. I even single me would want to have more than one person. Just well, I, generally speaking. It's I think you know, it's hard to maintain. How how could you maintain fucking six wives like emotionally? If you're dating, well, you you can't. But if you're dating, and you're talking to a couple different people, I think that's one thing. But wives is that's a, no. Why I'm talking wives. I mean, at that point, you're a cult leader, dude. Like I still stand by the fact that so, and that's true. You definitely formed your own little cult. I still I mean, stand by the fact want. that I could, I would definitely be able to start a cult. Like in high school, I was most likely, I was voted most likely to start my own cult. But you know what? All these cults pop up. Why isn't there ever a cult about fucking good shit? Like, you ever notice that? 
Yeah. It's like well, George Carlin, because everyone's too fucking fat and happy and has their phone that'll tickle their balls. Yeah. I think it's... Uh, I think there are cults for good things. You just don't hear about them. Because they don't... They, they call them, like, gyms. And, like... Uh, gyms? What, like, CrossFit? Well, like, if you got, like, those fucking, you know, like, like you know, those guys that live in the gym and all, that are, like, all they yeah, do Yeah, I guess that's... Lift. Yeah. That's a help. That could that could be healthy. It could. It I could mean, they're quickly help- turn unhealthy. Yeah, but I'm saying like like it's still a positive. It's just it's just you only he- cults cults are negative. Yeah, but it's, cults but it's are, too much of but it's too much of a, a good thing a bad thing. I don't know. Uh, yeah. No, I think you could. <laughs> You know, one day we're going to be interviewed with somebody like that, and we're going to punch them right in the center of their head. <laughs> like that. And they're going to – they're not going to get knocked out, but they're going to bounce back like that, and they're going to like that. And we're going to say, don't ask us stupid fucking questions. I, I remember – then, then, John, then you say, I ask the fucking questions here. I remember in eighth grade, uh, it was my first one-on-one fist fight, or maybe my second, and I – I punched the kid like straight in his forehead and he fell, but I had my school bag on and, and, and the motion brought the school bag like up and it hit me in the back of the head and I fell on top of him. <laughs> you fell on top of him? <laughs> yeah. And then we got up and then I went, uh, I went away. I went home. That was the night of the fishing trip, wasn't it? The f- yeah. <laughs> John, you're the only person that would ever happen to. I know. I don't think that's there's 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 been billions and billions. There's, I think there's been 57 billion people that have lived on the earth, and you're the only person that's ever happened to. I, it was it was the tip of like a textbook too, like it wasn't like just the weight. It was like I got stabbed in the back of the head with the weight, and then I fell on top of the kid. I think his name was Adam. Is that the, is that, was that the, um, was that the first time the universe told you you weren't going to be a professional fighter? No, I think the first time was when, um, I, it was like fourth or it was fourth grade and I was sitting next to this kid. I don't know why they put me and this kid next to each other. Everyone knew that we didn't like each other and he stole my scissors and he wouldn't give them back. So I punched him in the face. And we both looked at each other surprised because I don't think I heard him, but he also n- now knew that I would punch him. And so he gave me back his scissors and I felt ashamed because I didn't like hurt him. And both of us just sat in silence for like the probably. You felt ashamed the like, man, I'm a weak puncher or like I shouldn't have punched that kid. I think, well, I, at first I was afraid he was going to tell him. And then I was afraid. I, then I was like, well, I guess I didn't hurt. I mean, I was in fourth grade. Now I would, I would knock that fourth grader right the fuck out. <laughs> I actually knocked out one on the on my way home today. Yeah, with, a, with your car. Yeah, and then and then I flying? I got out the car and I and I kicked him to make sure that he was unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> There's a funny quote, Matthew. I'm I'm learning about all the presidents. I'm listening to a podcast sponsor of today's pod, Presequential Podcast. It's on Spotify. Presequential. Yeah. So that's cool. Abraham Lincoln has a, a quote in his biography. He's full of shit. Where he said, he said, at at year 10, I was kicked in the head by a horse and I was uh I was unalive for 10 minutes. Which he he, he was knocked out, but back then they just thought he was dead for a little bit. I kind of, I kind of like that. Yeah. You know, I was in Disney World, and I thought to myself, I was in where's place that? Called, yeah. I was in Frontierland, and I thought I wouldn't mind just living a the simple, simple life for like an hour. You know, I want to be a fucking guy in a western. Like, I would be Abe Lincoln for an hour. Mm-hmm. 
and do things the old way for like a day. And then don't get me wrong, after that, like send me back to the future. I'm not doing that shit long term. Like life back then was terrible. You drink a, a sip of water and you fucking die of dysentery. Like who the yeah. fuck wants to deal with that? Well, the crazy thing is like a lot of presidents had like seven kids and f- four or five of them wouldn't make it past like 10. Like it just, it's, you played the odds back then, which is fucking, it's I play the odds every day. Say. I understand what they went through. Well, that's, you're addicted to gambling. And also addicted to uh, giving unauthorized childbirths. You're very pro, pro-life. <laughs> yeah, very, very, very pro-life. You know how pro-life I am? I'm so pro-life that I, I ran over a fourth grader on my way home from work today. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? What's her name? Marjorie Green Taylor? Is that her name? It may as well be. That fucking dingbat. Well, she... She actually does look like the epitome of a dingbat. She said... Uh, she said... Um, she, she said something like... Uh, motherhood is the best choice that any woman can make. Oh, yeah, but she's against abortion. I did yeah. see that. <laughs> and people people were underlining the word choice because she's, I mean, these, these people don't believe, like, if they believe it, look, it's a difficult thing because if you truly believe that people are killing babies, then I get your point. But Come that on, just no. means, but that just means you're 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 misinformed. Yeah, I like when somebody would retweet the, uh, you know, on Twitter they'd be like, "Man, uh, look at these embryos or something like that." Like this is what we're saving as a joke because it's actually like an elephant embryo, but most mammals at a certain stage in in, you know, fertilization and and uh, being a fetus before I even before your fetus. They all look the same. Mm. Yeah. Well, it's crazy. You know, it's crazy. Obviously, the Mac brothers are uh, pro-choice. So, you know, but it also goes back to my Western way of living. People should be able to make fucking decisions for their own life. Yeah. You know, well, anyone like, who like, does is a jerk off. I, I think that, like, people have a right to have guns, but there has to be a limit. It, I always said it should be just as hard to get a gun as it is to get your driver's license. Yeah. Like an AR-15 is fucking can kill a thousand, uh, like, or not a thousand, can kill fucking 20 people in a second. Like, what the fuck are we yeah. giving these people these gu- Why are these people have, no one should have that unless you're in the military. Or you're me. Or you're in the Aluma Yesi. The Yeah. Exactly. No, it's crazy. It's ridiculous. You know, you know, and fucking stupid ass Joe Biden's like back when the the, the, the Fourth Amendment was written, you couldn't buy a, a cannon back then. But the crazy thing was, is most of the military was privately funded back then. So so civilians were buying cannons. And yeah. even today, it's legal to buy a cannon manufactured before uh, the 19 before 1900. Because it's not considered a modern weapon. Well, to the guns back then, like well, there were muskets. If you had thick enough clothing, the it wouldn't reach your skin. Well, I don't know about that. I'm not a ballistics expert. Expert. I don't but, know. But it, it but was they were less- they were they were muskets. You had to load them through the barrel. You had to get the powder. You had to put the lead ball in. You yeah. had to get your fucking flint ready. You had to get all this sh- all this stuff ready. You know, and you had to stand in a line with a fancy uniform and fire, and you just shot. And you just said, "Okay, I hope I hit the person in front of me." Like people, like weapons now are are on a whole different level. Do you know people when people had duels back then? Um, oh, most of the time, people didn't die because it was really just like a show of like balls, bravado, like a bravado, like a yeah, macho. But I think. The who was it? Was it Andrew Jackson? Who was the he killed somebody in the duel? Um, yeah, I think he did. 
Whoever, whatever president. One of the presidents killed somebody in a duel. I don't know. You're the one watching the presidential podcast. I know. Tell me. I started this four months ago, so everything's blended into one now. But um, they're all one president at a certain point anyway. I forget who it was, but whichever president it was. So a couple presidents or vice presidents killed somebody. Non-war. While they were in office. Non-war presidents killed, like. You know, but anyway, so I think it was Andrew Jackson. He, a guy in a bar was talking shit about his wife. So he challenged him to a duel and the guy shot him. Um, the guy shot him in the chest or somewhere and it didn't kill him, but it hurt a whole lot. So what he did was he aimed and shot him right in the head or something like that. And then he fainted. From the bullet wound that he, and then when he woke up, his, they were like, we can't believe that you were able to, like, you were such a good shot that you killed the guy while you were sh- shot, while you were about to He think. said, of course I am. I'm Andrew fucking Johnson. No, he, he Jackson. And he said, uh, Jackson, wrong he, president. His, his direct quote was, oh, wait, what the fuck was his direct quote? He was like, it would take, it would take a thousand bullets to stop me from killing that fucking guy or something like that. Something ridiculous. That's cool shit. I said well, that the story's so are, incorrect. We are running out of time. So thank you everyone for watching. Stay tuned next week for, for more. I was um, you so know, wrong about that story. <laughs> that's, yeah, look up the story and you'll figure out what really happened. Well, stay happy and stay smiling, everyone. Fuck your AR-15s and uh, hose before embryos. <laughs>